Hello, and welcome to the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. My name is Michael Milday, and I'm the Dean here, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to our first ever virtual Fall Preview Day. In a regular year, we would be welcoming you to Conron Hall, this hall. But in response to COVID, we've had to adapt, think, and act differently. We've adapted to bring in-person student experiences to all of our departments, while also offering robust online classes to make sure students could connect and learn with our faculty, both from home and on campus. I want to give a particular welcome to the students out there. It's an exciting time for you, full of opportunity and future, but it's also an anxious moment. There are important and consequential choices and decisions to make. I also have to acknowledge the parents in the audience. Especially in the current context, this is going to be an extra challenging time. So, on this Fall Preview Day, our goal is to give information and to share some experiences that will help you to shape your decisions, and we hope that you will choose to join us here at Western. In Arts and Humanities at Western, we give you various ways to design your degree. Students have the ability to mix and match elements from across our seven departments so that you can study what you love while gaining valuable skills that will equip you to solve today's most important problems. Given the context of a global pandemic, you may be asking, does it make sense to study a subject in the Arts and Humanities? So I'm the Dean here, and you know I'm gonna say yes, so please let me explain. During the pandemic lockdown, we all developed the reliance on technology. We lived our lives online. Technology has never been more important. And technology is cool, but it is not an end in itself. It is a means for living our lives. What do we use technology for? Like most of us, you probably listen to a lot of music, watch a lot of shows, read a ton of information, and maybe even looked up bread recipes. What you wanted was the content and the ability to connect with other people. Content is certainly about entertainment, but it is also about information and communication. Because even during the lockdown, and perhaps especially during the lockdown, you don't just want to be entertained or distracted from your concerns. You also want to understand what is happening. And many of the central questions that come up for us have to do with this question. What is happening to us as human beings? What does it mean for us to be isolated, to communicate only through technology, to be worried about our future? This, it turns out, is just the newest version of one of the most fundamental questions. What does it mean to be a human being? And when people look to answer that question, we look to art, to literature, to philosophy, and the whole complex world of ideas that is the world of arts and humanities. This is where we have the most direct access to what makes us who we are, our humanity. We find answers to our questions and sometimes question the answers that we have found. And as you engage with this material, you will gain a large number of crucially important skills. Whether you're reading a novel or watching a film, grappling with your first experience of Spanish, trying to understand a work of art, or assessing the complexities of the concept of gender, you will be engaging your critical and analytical capacities. And then you're going to take things a step further because you will go on to create your own work. You will have the opportunity to write critically, to make your own films and artworks, to present your work to peers and the public. A combination of critical analysis and creative production is the basis of resilience, of flexible thinking, of finding new ways to address problems old and new. Nothing is more critical now. So arts and humanities are not something set apart from the community. Rather, the subject matter that we study and create lies at the very heart of our humanity and the heart of our community. This is why we're committed to community-engaged and experiential education, as well as work-integrated learning. Arts and Humanities has been a university leader in internships for over a decade, with partners like Toronto International Film Festival, Museum London, Stratford Festival, Walrus Magazine, and a wide array of grassroots community groups serving diverse constituencies. While the Western experience may look different, as we are creating our paintings in our home studios, performing Shakespeare on a live stream, and creating films from a safe distance, connection is at the core of what we do in arts and humanities. Our faculty and staff have been innovating the way we teach and experience the arts so that our community may come together and engage whether you're in one of our on-campus classes or choosing to study online. 
Small class sizes and dedicated faculty means that your instructors know your name and are committed to your learning no matter where you're joining us from. We're so pleased you've chosen to connect with us here today. And our team is here to help answer any questions you may have. In the upcoming sessions, we'll be sharing stories from our current students, faculty and alumni, so that you can learn more about our diverse programs. If you're tuning in live, we would also invite you to share your questions with us in the live chat. Our faculty, staff and student ambassadors are online to connect with you today and help with this important decision. Thank you and have a wonderful fall preview day with us.